What's up there you go fans, my name's Alex, also known as Inch95 and I'm bringing you guys another video today. Today's video is going to be an opening, I got a bunch of stuff in the mail I ordered today, tomorrow. In the next couple days I should be getting more stuff in, I'm going to be editing all these openings together. So at the end of this video you guys can go through and see what I got. I ordered a bunch of stuff for a bunch of new decks that I want to profile and showcase for you guys. As well as a bunch of old stuff that I wanted to just put together my old decks and proxies here or there. So we're going to get into it, I'm going to take you guys down you guys are going to see what I opened up. Alright guys, so let's get into the first opening here. See what we got. I think this one's from Pittsburgh somewhere. I'm trying to open up along the edges so I don't cut into any of the cards. And you guys might not be might might not even be hearing any of this just because um I will probably edit all this together, so. Uh oh, this one's taped up pretty good. So this one is a Shiranui Solitaire. I finally got a third one in. Pretty awesome. Very excited to get this. Uh, I can probably profile Shiranui's for you guys. The only thing, I only have one Spectral Sword, but I think you can get away with one. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Shiranui guy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Moving on to the next package. Ho oh, ho. This is going to be a. Uh, 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 let's open this up. This is going to be a playset of. Pre-preparation of rights. I know this is kind of a random card. You, can be, you guys will be like, well, why'd you order this? Well, uh, when you guys see the next card, you probably guys will have an idea of why I actually got this. So, um, definitely part of one of the deck profiles that I want to profile. I should probably open this guy up as well. Got to be careful when you do your little openings to not cut into the card. I have a tendency because people tape the top of top loaders. Um, that and then you're just unable to like open it up and then people like cut into it it's it's the worst I, I actually just hate when there's tape on top of top loaders but it makes sense so let's get into this next package i think this one also said it was from pittsburgh i could be wrong yep this one's from pittsburgh pennsylvania yep. this one's also one of the taped up ones this one's really taped up really good actually uh, this one we got a what is that a Subter Behemoth, I can't even say his name, Umastrix, Umayastrix, whatever his name is. I don't know how many in here. There's probably just one in here because I know I ordered a lot of stuff from a lot of separate suppliers. Um, I know some people are not hyping up uh, Subterrors, but it's one of those decks that has a lot of cool cards, a lot of cool rarities, uh, especially like Hidden City and whatnot. A lot of the ultra rares that uh, it may, if it ever goes up in value, these cards will go up exponentially. So. Uh, let's see, we got these two, and I'm going to be doing more openings as we go, obviously. I haven't gotten all the mail in for today, and I think I got a bunch of packages coming in these next couple days, some stuff that just recently shipped out, so I don't know when you guys will actually see this video. Oh, this one's cool, so we got us a Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju. I haven't had a third one for the longest, and I, I didn't want to order the Super Airs, um, just because the Super Airs are like 10, 11 bucks a pop, it seems, online from what I've seen. They're probably all over the place, honestly, but... I just started another rare because I already had two rares, so I'm going to take them out of the sleeve. Got a Gamma Seal right there. Not the most expensive card, not the coolest card, but definitely one of the better Kaijus. One of the most popular ones, obviously, and definitely going to be good with the Barrier Statue type stuff. Um, or the Paleozoic Barrier Statue deck when you guys see that, depending on when I show you guys that profile. Um, I might have actually already showed it to you guys. In this video, I probably did a video with a couple proxies here or there. And this is, oh, these cards are starting to fall out. I know what these are, just, just because it's three, most likely. Uh, so this is 10% off all singles, coupon code, blah, 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 untapped games. So that's cool, I guess. And they gave us three Subterra Nemesis Wars. I actually have one already, but I just ordered three because you had to meet the $1 threshold on TCG Player. So these are the cards I got so far. And then I'm probably going to cut away here and do more openings as this video goes. So... Uh, let's get into the next openings, guys. Moving on with the next set of mail. We have seven more packages here. We're going to get right into them. We're going to see what we got. Hopefully, we can uh, we can get through all these relatively quickly. Eh. Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, yeah, open up cards and packages. Oh, oh yeah, the juice. Oh. Ooh. We got some hidden cities right here. Ho, ho, ho. Hidden City, I'm going to take them out of the sleeve just because I think cards look so much better without sleeves on video, on 60 frames, so, or with 60 frames, so you guys can see that. I got a play set of these bad boys now, so uh, sub tears, be expecting that pretty soon. Hopefully I can get some, um, some of the cards that I need alongside for those because obviously it's not just sub tears apparently right now, there's a lot of like prediction princess variants. 
So that'd be really cool. I ordered those. I don't think the Prediction Princess stuff is going to come in anytime soon. Um, so let's see. What is this? Back in there, we got some. Ooh! Floodgate Trap Hole. Ho ho, a playset of it, too. Really awesome. I was looking forward to getting this card. This card is really, really cool. Now I can try out this in my uh, in my Paleozoic deck with the trap trick stuff. I think it's a really cool strategy. Um, it's a normal trap, so obviously if it not being a counter trap, you can use it with uh, any of the Paleozoic. So I think it's really, really cool. Moving on with the next thing we got. Let me stick this in here. All right, actually, oh, oh, come on. Oh. We got, let me open it first from this side so I can get it out without actually seeing what card this is. I have a weird feeling I know what this is because it looks like it's a little beat up, a little moderately played, maybe, I don't know. Oh, Barrier Statue, I knew I was right. Has a little bit of wear on it, not too bad, but it's a Barrier Statue of the Torn. I ordered a bunch of these online just because I got sick and tired of trying to move um, my one and got sick and tired of proxying it, so I'm probably going to get a couple more, hopefully. Uh, moving on, let's go with the next card. Ooh, a Cat Shark. Ho, ho. Let's uh, open that up. I definitely needed that for my Paleozoic deck. It's a level, or rank 2, rather, water. So, she's actually quite relevant. Very cute looking card, too. Um, really, really awesome. I really like this card. If you guys don't know what it does, um, yeah, I'll just read it to you. It just says when this card has an XYZ material, uh, when while this card has an XYZ material attached to it that was originally water, it can't be destroyed by battle, then once per turn during either you or your opponent's turn, you can detach an XYZ material from this card and then you target a rank 4 or lower XYZ monster you control and attack gets doubled. Um, its attack and defense gets doubled until the end of the turn. So some cool stuff with this. And she has 500 by 500, so her stats aren't that great, but you use it to boost up other stuff. So you can use it to boost up um, Anomalo Karis or... Uh, maybe Tree Toad when they come out. Let's see this. Oh, another rank two that we needed pretty badly. I was looking forward to this because I actually might be going to Locals for the first time in a long, long time today. We got a Sky Calvary Centuria, another relevant rank two for me. Uh, basically, it just says it can't be destroyed by battle while it has a material. And then at the end of the damage step, if it battled an opponent's monster, I can detach a material from it and then return that monster to their hand. But it's a 2,000 beat stick, so it's extremely relevant. Really like this card a lot. Um, moving forward, we have two more packages today. So hopefully we get uh, some of the stuff we wanted out of here. I'm trying to be cautious with everything that I ordered. Um, so I don't like show anyone else's address or my address by mistake. We got some sub tears. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we got a sub tear behemoth stalag stalagmo, stalagmo. Although there's a little ding in the top right corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna have to be messaging the seller about that or the person I got it from about that because this is supposed to be um, mint to near mint. So I'm um, gonna be messaging about that. But then we got a Uma Strix, Umaya Strix. I've uh, two of these now, hopefully we get the third one in pretty soon, and then a Nemesis Warrior, I have a bunch of these, so, um, I don't know why I got another one of these, um, hopefully they didn't mess up the order, because I'm pretty certain I was, I wasn't supposed to get this, I was supposed to probably get another, another one of these, um, I'll have to double check that, but this package seems pretty thick, so I'm gonna actually open this one up manually, because I don't want to tear it, because I can't really tell what, which side the cards are on. But, um, let's check. Oh, never mind. So we did get the other one. So we got the other sub tear behemoth, Uma Strix, Umaya Strix. Can't even say his name. Um, it sucks we didn't get um, the third barrier statue that we needed because now we have two, which really, really sucks because I need a third one um, ASAP, or I want a third one, rather. But we got this, the third Umaya Strix. So it seems we have everything minus the Prediction Princesses. For uh, this deck, for the um, for the uh, sub tear deck, so this is pretty cool. Um, this is the second half of the stuff we got. So we got uh, two Maestrix. We got one earlier. I put them away actually right now. Actually, they're right over here. Um, put all these away. So we got this. We got another Stalagmo, which I already had to originally, but it kind of sucks that this one has a ding on it. So I'm gonna ask them if they can either send me another one because um, I think I got this one actually from TCG Player. I'm not really certain. Um, one of these guys, which was relevant, <laughs> a Sky Calvary Centuria, a Cat Shark, Barry Statue of the Torrent, definitely need more of those. 
uh, three floodgate trap holes and two hidden cities. These are really cool. This card's gonna be really high in value if subterrors ever get hot. So, and it seems like a really fun, cool deck. Hopefully, I can get the prediction princesses pretty soon as well, so I can profile it because it seems, from what I understand, that that's like the best variant of the deck to uh, play. All right, guys. So we're gonna do a quick recap of the cards we got today so far. Uh, hopefully these are the only cards so far we've gone because there are going to be more openings more likely in the future. Uh, I'm probably not going to be adding anything else done in this video. So, uh, first card we got was a Shirinai, Shirinui Solitaire. This card is pretty cool. I really like it. I finally have a place out of this. So I'll be very, very interested in making Sir Shirinui's finally most likely for you guys. We got one, a, one Behemoth Stalagmo. This one's pretty cool. Um, I really like this guy a lot more than Umaya Strix, but I wanted to get three Umaya Strix. So we got three of these guys as well. Very cool looking guys. And then we got a bunch of Nemesis Warriors. I guess I must have ordered an extra one, but uh, we have three Nemesis Warriors. This one's kind of a pain in the butt to find. Um, so I have like three or four of these now. We have two Hidden Cities that I got. I already had one, so uh, yeah. And then pretty much rounding off the extra spells that we got that were relevant towards this deck is three Preparation of uh, Rites. Now, I didn't get all the Prediction Princess stuff that I ordered, which I guess will be a hint for some of the openings most likely in the next coming days or week or whatever. But uh, I did order a bunch of Prediction Princess because it seems like that's what Prediction, like that's the engine that they splash with, um, or they splash that engine rather into Subterrace. So I definitely want to try that out. So right now I do have a playset of Hidden Cities, which is pretty awesome. I'll be able to use these uh, with the three Nemesis Warriors, the three Umaya Strix, and then I have I already had two Stalagmos, so some extra Stalagmos right there. And uh, yeah, I am very excited to have pretty much a playset of all the relevant cards out of this that could potentially go up in value, especially the Hidden Cities. Um, and then obviously the three Preparation of Rights. Those are pretty awesome. I really like the, this card. Um, I really wish I could have used this a lot more with like Necros if it was possible, but unfortunately it's not. And then I already had these, so but uh, these are some cool cards that I just threw in there. Uh, moving forward with the other cards we got today, we got a Gamma Seal, uh, just the rare. I didn't order the Supers. We got one Barrier Statue of the Torrent. I was hoping I'd be getting more because I ordered actually quite a few of these. Um, because I'm obviously have Paleozoics, Mermails, um, and a couple variants of Paleozoics, so it'd be a lot easier just to like have a couple commons and just without without like having to move them back and forth. So I only have two of these right now. I was really hoping to get three just because I was actually planning on going to locals for the first time in a while today, um, in like months literally. So I'm probably not going to be able to play today since I don't have a third barrier statue. But it is what it is. Uh, three floodgate trap holes. This card I was very excited to get. Very very excited to try and use this, especially with the trap tricks variant of. Uh, Paleozoic, so that'd be pretty awesome. It's a really cool card. You can activate it a lot easier than a lot of the Mirror Force cards other than Quaking. And then we got a Cat Shark and a Sky Calvary Centuria. So that rounds off the cards that we got today that were relevant that you guys wanted to see. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this opening slash mail video. I know there's a lot of cards. Hopefully it wasn't like really disconnected. I'll probably edit both of the videos or all three videos that I filmed for this together. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. These are the openings for the day. What was your favorite card that I got? And what deck would you guys like me to, uh, to see me profile as soon as possible if I already haven't profiled it? Or maybe some new version. I know a lot of people are kind of probably going to be asking me to profile sub -tears. It's a very cool deck or Shirinui's. Um, I really want to do sub terrors, especially once I get the Prediction Princess stuff, but I don't have it yet. So maybe if I can find like a pure sub terror deck, I'll be more than happy to profile that if I can put it together. So see you guys. Take care. Peace out. And that has been a video. Check out all my stuff down below if you want to contact me. And uh, take it easy, guys.